Hey, Pastor Dan here from Dexter Gospel Church with our next Proverbs Practical. Thanks for watching this, our second one of the evening. In our last video, we were urged to slow down and listen before we speak. This next verse talks about how powerful our spiritual, mental, and emotional condition is. Proverbs 18, verse 14. Proverbs 18, 14 says, The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? The idea of an infirmity, that's that of a sickness, although it can also be an external difficulty. So someone who is mentally, emotionally, and spiritually strong seems to make it through physical hardships pretty well. It's not that they don't get sick or don't get hurt or don't have problems, it's that they seem to make it through them. They have a, a spiritual power source that carries over into handling their physical situations. And I'm sure you've known people like that. People who manage to be strong, cheerful, thankful, joyful, even when they were sick, even when they were suffering, even when they were having problems. That's the person with a strong spirit. The spirit of the person sustaining their infirmity. But then this makes a very sobering point. What about the person who was wounded in spirit instead of in body? Their physical strength doesn't really sustain them through their spiritual problem. Now the term for spirit here, it's very broad, it's the idea of breath, wind. It, it includes both what we think of as the spiritual normally, and it also includes the emotional and the mental. So when this talks about a wounded spirit, it could be talking about things like falling into sin, not being right with God, but it can also be things like discouragement and depression and anxiety. It's the internal, immaterial part of a person, the thing that makes them a person instead of just an object. And maybe you've seen this too, a person who is sick with something that they could probably recover from, but they give up, they lose hope, they stop fighting. And without that spiritual, emotional, mental strength, they end up losing the physical battle. This is saying that a problem of the heart, mind, or spirit is harder to bear sometimes than a problem of the body. Because the problem of the body, you've got that spiritual strength to help you with. But the problem with the spirit, the physical strength has a lot harder time helping you with. A spiritual issue can thus hurt worse than a physical issue, be an even more serious problem than a physical matter. And maybe if we grasp this, this will shape how we have compassion for other people and even how we pray for them. We often pray for other people's physical health. We say, this person is sick. I hope they get better. This person has this injury or this weakness. I hope that it improves or that they recover. But maybe we should pray not for the removal of their physical trials, but for the spiritual strength to be sustained through them. Perhaps we should pray for healing for the deeper wounds of the soul as much as for the surface wounds of the body. Perhaps we should be more concerned with encouragement, righteousness, and hope, even than with medical reports and conditions. This isn't to say that physical sickness isn't real. The verse completely acknowledges that. It just says that your spiritual condition can affect how you make it through your physical condition. And we should do thus what we can to remain spiritually strong and help others be spiritually strong. That means developing and maintaining good habits of thinking. It means staying in the scriptures and prayer to stay close to the source of true spiritual strength, God himself. It means healthy patterns of fellowship and serving others. It means getting enough rest and exercise. All of those things affect our mental, emotional, and spiritual condition. And when the time comes, and it will, that spiritual strength can then bear us up through physical weakness. I hope this video is an encouragement and a blessing to you. If it is, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like it. Until next time, I hope you stay well, both physically and spiritually.